Serious changes are coming to the way hospitals do business because of Obamacare. Some contend those changes could mean fewer medical services and job layoffs. That's the focus of tonight's reality check. Frank, this could have a huge impact on jobs too, right? That's right, Larry. It's estimated that 10% of North Carolina's jobs are in hospitals. About 18,000 or one in 10 hospital jobs could be eliminated because of hospital budget cuts. And our own Mission Hospital is not immune to the sweeping changes. And I guess she needs just like hard numbers. The cost of visiting the hospital is often painful in more ways than one. It's quite expensive. People look like I'm going, want to go to the walk-in clinic rather than go to the ER. But finding affordable care and even essential health services will soon be harder to find as more hospitals struggle under Obamacare. For a lot of people, uh, and this is one of the challenges, uh, it's going to be cheaper to pay the penalty than it is to get the insurance. Uh, and... Uh, you know, that, that's, that's one of the problems. Mission Health President and CEO Ron Paulus says the impact of the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, and state cuts in Medicaid and Medicare will result in a $350 million loss in reimbursements over the next 10 years. The theory there was that uh, if, um, if more people were going to be insured and there would be a lower burden of... Um, uninsured care on hospitals, that some of the funds that currently come through to sort of compensate hospitals for that should go away. But what Obamacare didn't count on was the Supreme Court's decision that said states can't be forced into expanding Medicaid, leaving hospitals with the bill. The cuts were hardwired, changed the game by the Supreme Court. We're not going to get it back on the other end. And so uh, that's where we are. And Mission isn't alone. The headlines show hospitals everywhere are hurting. Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center announces another round of layoffs, affecting more than 900 employees. Cone Health laid off another 150 in June, totaling 300 for the year. And Novant is eliminating nearly 300. I think the Affordable Care Act is going to be, be challenging for all of us. Dr. Daniel Cannon is an independent family practice physician who has adapted to new electronic reporting and documentation requirements under the Affordable Care Act. We're going to be responsible to account for the quality that we provide and be cost conscious. He believes despite the struggles now experienced by hospitals and doctors, quality and accountability will become the focus and health care will grow stronger. In fact, in primary care, we may see an increase in our reimbursement. There's certainly going to be an increase in the number of primary care physicians as, uh, as a consequence of the Affordable Care Act. They have to have a chronic respiratory diagnosis. Hospital cutbacks may mean a temporary setback, but Dr. Cannon, who volunteers at a free clinic, sometimes sees patients who become seriously ill because they can't afford health care. He says they often wind up in a hospital ER, requiring expensive treatments that get passed on to everyone. I think if they have access to primary care doctors and can monitor their health and take the responsible steps to take care of themselves, they end up costing less to all of us. A goal shared by doctors, patients. I think it'll work out, though. It, it, you know, if everybody has a good feeling about it. And hospital administrators. We're going to look at how we can best serve the community, and we're going to retain as many programs and as many jobs as we possibly can. Paula says he's concerned that costly services like behavioral health, diabetes care, and chronic disease management could be in short supply. That's because reimbursements for those medical services are so low. If you have an idea for a reality check, you can write us at realitycheck at WLOS.com.